Okay. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Da-da! We are live here at the Kasha McKee Gallery. I'm Kasha, and this is High Noon. Uh, live streaming, Instagram, TV. We are at the Palm Beach Design Showroom, 25,000 square feet. And we are here with a special guest, Alexandra Dupuy, hospitality diva extraordinaire. Thank you, darling, for coming. So Thank wonderful for having of me. you. Hey, everybody. Please have a seat. Yay. Okay, so welcome to the showroom. It's absolutely amazing. I walked in and I just heard echoes. I had no idea it was so large. I mean, <laughs> it's big. It's spectacular. It is big, full of art. As I said, 25,000 square feet of uh, world-class collectible art. And um, Wait, I, we want to see what we're doing down here, right? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. So Make sure that we're I? on. Okay. This is the third episode. So technical difficulties here and there. While you're doing that, I'm going to excuse myself for hot, one hot minute. Because I noticed da, 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 the light. We need the light on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There okay, you go. Okay, live. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Here's the volume. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Welcome everybody, Instagram Live. Here we are, episode three, High Noon. Thank you for coming, Absolutely. Alexandra. Thank you for having so me. So it's been a little while, you know, COVID and all. Um, even previous to that, uh, I've been busy trying to do my art thing and the DJ thing here and there, and you've been busy being hospitality, uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically this showroom, um, I think it's so cool that you're involved in it because it's just so serendipitous. We're all together on it because um, Angelica and Paola actually I previously worked with, both of them separately. They are the directors right? of the showroom. They are the girls in charge, large and in charge here as the directors doing the marketing, doing the events, doing promotions, selling art, working on the galleries. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. So you know them from subculture so I um, I worked with both of them previously Kapow and last weekend um, yeah so wow. I reconnected with them right uh, that must have been a summer. little bit of a go little bit ago uh, a couple years ago couple, almost three years ago two three years ago so what was Angelica downstairs while I was doing uh, she was <laughs> dance for sessions upstairs mm -hmm. that's yeah. hilarious I know um, and then Paola and her sister were both across the street at Kapow. So wow, so we had dinner with them, and then wow, had a drink. isn't that amazing? Oh, th th I love them to death. They're amazing. Absolutely. All right, so uh, full circle, as they say. Here you are. Here I am. Here they are. <laughs> That's good, so great, right? And it's it's a beautiful place to be, and a beautiful. So at that time, time you were managing Voltaire, and we worked together to do a really awesome uh, dance floor session Saturday night with local DJs, including myself. And um, so that was a stint for a while, and that's how we met. It was wonderful working with you then. And so um, I invited you to be on the third episode because you have some exciting news, like you're working with a fabulous new product. I am, um, and I can't wait to show everyone about it. Um, it is called Onda. Um, so Onda... Oh. O N, o N like Nancy D like D Daddy A A on da what's the on da. significant meaning what yeah so it's um all around the nineties surf vibe so it's on da wave it's more of a feeling it's just okay on da what's up all oh, good so intentions it was a, good it was feelings. a phrase mm -hmm. on da yeah interesting yeah that's really interesting sure and California mostly yes and is that where it started. Um, so it started um, actually in New York. Um, our two, we have four founders. Um, we have Max Doran, Noah Gray, Shay Mitchell, and Kelly Adams. Um, so the two. Hi. hi Hello hi, from hi. Ahoy from Palm <laughs> Beach. Um, the two gentlemen were actually uh, Yale grads. Um, they worked at a venture capitalist uh, firm and uh, decided that it was necessary to launch this amazing product because there wasn't 
a lot of actual tequila seltzers on the market. Tequila seltzer. seltzer. Mm -hmm. The seltzers have been blowing up. Right time, great product, tequila. Yeah. I mean, we'll get into the details of, you know, each SKU, but um, it's a great product, and it was just the right time. So they met the, they brought the two girls on, Miss Kelly Adams, Miss Shay Mitchell. I'm sure you may have heard of Shay. Um, actress. But, yes, actress. Pretty Little Liars. Um, she was on You, but overall she just has an amazing, amazing following and um, just social presence, right? Social media, lifestyle. What, what's her following on Instagram? 30 million, I think, the last time I checked. <laughs> oh, wow. So. 30 million yeah. wow yes uh, very exciting very funny yeah. way to like, go girl good job. <laughs> we're gonna get there one day <laughs> <laughs> one of these days right 30 um, million but anyways they they two years ago they started this dynamite team right so you had the gentlemen with the business forward thought then you had the girls with the lifestyle branding marketing like starting they really found like each other they somehow. did and then of course after that you have to figure out how to sell it right so they assembled this great board of directors with a lot of history in branding not only branding but beverage branding and cans so then it took off July 1st, we celebrated a year um, in distribution. Wow! Which is awesome. Congratulations! Right? Way to go, Onda, on the team! <laughs> Hold on. Hashtag drink Onda, right? <laughs> Hashtag drink Onda. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Time out. Speaking of hashtag drink Onda, <laughs> here's one. There's one. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> Oh, look. Here's another one. So we have four <laughs> flavors, as Ms. Kasha, my assistant, <laughs> will be helping me. You got that Vienna White vibe going on right now? Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> hey, I've got her shoes. Woo. There we go. I just, uh, you know. Did you know that she never wore a single dress twice? And all of her years on Wheel of Fortune, she never wore the same thing twice. How awesome is that? I love that woman. My grandma and I used to watch Wheel of Fortune every single day. I swear <laughs> it was one of my favorite things to do with her. I know, like, mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, All right, so where are we? Because I also have some straws. Well, let's talk a little bit about the flavor since we're introducing the product, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, lime and... I'm come close. Yeah, lime and grapefruit beep, were beep, beep. first. Kasha is showing you our blood orange. And talk about a nice can. Watermelon. Right. Pop off the shelf. Slick, clean design. On to signature. Really, really nice. Really, really great. We're filming on two different <laughs> thingies. Okay. Um, so, yeah, just it's real Blanco tequila, right? Uh, woman owned distillery, Casa Maestra. They make Sincora tequila there as well. Um, if you're familiar with Michael Jordan's tequila, so it's made under the same house. Michael Jordan makes tequila? He does. I had no idea. Very premium George brands. Clooney, I knew. Yeah, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of them out there. Um, but anyways, to move forward, yeah. um, so then this beautiful can, it is straight from Malisco, so it is Blanco tequila. Um, it is under 5% ABV, so you can definitely buy it and a beer and wine license. Is that what makes it a seltzer? That's sort of the trend, is it's 5% mm -hmm. with the so, other, with the competitors? Yeah. Awesome. It's um, low ABV. Real tequila, real juice, zero sugar, under 100 calories. So it's definitely... Um, you had me at tequila. I'm it's sorry. Acceptable. <laughs> it's acceptable if you're on a health kick. So, so let, let's, let's not waste any more time. Get in there. Because it is a tradition here on High Noon to have a <laughs> cocktail bevy of some sort. So look at this. We're going to give them a nice little sample try. This is a taste tester. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and cold, too. How about that? All right. I, how about a blind taste? I don't want to know which one I'm trying. Okay. Well, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Any of them? Okay. <laughs> one, two. I'm going in. Watermelon. Yep. Ding, 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 ding. Perfect. So what do you think? Mmm. Number one, the balance between the watermelon and the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Because sometimes carbonated drinks I find are just too aggressively bubbly. And yeah. I'm like, uh, uh, choke, gag, 
cough, burp. Right? <laughs> How elegant. Okay. Yeah, that was okay. <laughs> Honesty, man. That's beautiful. So, uh, flavor, watermelon flavor, real juice, right? Mm -hmm. um, right off the bat. Bubbles second. And I'm thinking because it's only 5%, it's a, sort of like a, a creepy, crawly tequila sensation. Very, very, good. very California. <laughs> Laid back. <laughs> that's, that's very good. All right, number two. Yum. Watermelon. I think we should Yum. just go right down the line, right? Sure. Okay. Watch the straws. They're coming at you. Okay. One, two, three. I don't really need two straws. I don't know why I put two I in there. <laughs> I thought it was just like a high noon kind of thing. Mmm. <laughs> lime. Yep. Hot. Right off the bat, lime. And it doesn't taste fake lime. It tastes real lime. That one seems to be a bit more bubbly. Yeah. But wonderful. Hit me. We should be in Las Vegas. We could be. <laughs> <laughs> on the road with high noon. <laughs> on the road with high noon and on to, well, this is what we were talking about earlier off camera about how uh, Alexandra and her history in hospitality, consulting, bartending, bar managing, like full, full on package here, well established by her own right. Um, and how she's taking the brand as the Palm Beach ambassador uh, with jurisdictions where? Well, I just uh, recently took over Fort Lauderdale as well. And I kind of creep into Miami every now and again. Um, but yeah, so all the way North Palm Beach, from Jensen, all the way down to Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood Beach, downtown Fort Lauderdale. So I'm really branching out a lot more than just How Miami are you choosing Houston. your locations? Because like, there's a lot of places between here and Fort Lauderdale. Uh, did you say Jupiter? Yeah, okay. even more. And north, Jupiter. Even more than North and Jupiter. Wow. Um, so I honest, I mean, I've been doing it for two months, but I first, of course, Congratulations. Had, thank you so much. I had to get the little black book out and contact first my friends that I knew would be right. The brand right has to fit into the friends establishment. Friends that own establishments. Own, manage, direct, work. Oh, perfect. All, all over the spectrum. Right, right. right. Um, and then I just go by and it was just so exciting because COVID ended, it is not ended, is kind of, end I don't know. It's Summer something. of recovery here yeah. in, in Florida. Thank goodness, thank God, thank the universe that uh, we, we are, we're really spearheading the recovery for the rest of America. Very fortunate. So it, it led to a little bit more opening and a little bit uh, ability to go out and see my friends again, which is right? what's the exciting Reconnect. part. Reconnect. Oh, so. isn't that wonderful? Same here, same here. When we opened up, well, I moved in here in November, and the showroom opened, I guess, maybe in kind of in the summer before, before November, obviously, duh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I came in in November, we had the mask thing going on, and I was really, really, really anxious to get out, really, like, ready to just, okay, plow through back to the yard, back to, to feeling like the, you have a life. Sure. And um, so we did our, our, our fair share of, of trying to engage people to come in, but timid. People were very timid at first, but let's fast forward to now. Yeah. What's the vibe out there since you are actually boots on the ground going into establishments, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah. So, I mean, that was one of the big, biggest transitions for me professionally. So I up until recently, I was just in establishments working, right? I'd go in and I'd manage or I'd direct or I'd get the brand off the ground. And now I get to go out and see what everyone else is doing. Um, Fort Lauderdale is very busy, very crazy, very wild. Um, Palm Beach, definitely your, your go-to establishments are still kicking and wonderful. I have not seen, thankfully, a lot of businesses not doing well. So, I mean, that's great. I mean, sales are up from what I've seen from past summers, definitely. I can definitely see locals staying um, out of towners. You know, your snowbirds are definitely staying. Well, we've had that big <laughs> migration mm -hmm. from New York, California, well, all over the country um, that are not as liberally and or as adventurous as our fabulous governor to, to give our lives back. Sure. So, um, yeah, lots of people are coming. Real estate is through the roof. Yeah. Um, people are 
frequenting the restaurants, the bars, Saturday nights, Friday nights on Clematis. Yeah. I am blown away how busy it is. Yeah. It's it's a blasting. Yeah. So, very fortunate. It's and so it's, great. It translates wonderfully into sales, right? Liquor sales. Exactly. Beer sales. Wine yeah, sales. People are celebrating. Like we're celebrating life every single day that we made it um, through through the madness. So back to my sample taste test here. Blood orange and grapefruit. And I kind of cheated. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't keep up with the tasting. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the blood orange. And you know why I brought the two straws? Because I thought that you were going to have one with me. Oh, I should have. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could have definitely been. <laughs> I kind of like, well, hold on a second. I oh, knew okay. I bought two straws for a reason. It's okay. <laughs> Listen. Get it. You can have this straw and I'll have this straw. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm. Are we doing like the milkshake vibe I'm, right I'm not, okay. I'm not contagious. <laughs> mm. But hopefully my positive attitude is. So blood orange is one of my favorites. I am a huge, yum. huge blood orange, huge grapefruit fan. Mm. I love citrus anything. I'm a citrus freak, but grapefruit just brings out the Paloma without the sugar, right? And then blood orange is it, just a little bit of twist. The blood orange has a really sexy uh, taste to it. Like um, back to watermelon, fun, boat time, beach time, pool time, lime, Anytime, right? Fresh, right? citrus. Anytime. Dough. This is really uh, puts me in a little bit of a mood, my dear. Yeah, I can go dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. A little like, what do they call that? What was that song? Uh, something. Afternoon delight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back for more. <laughs> no, it's definitely one of my favorites. Mmm. Yay. And the grapefruit, now normally grapefruit is, is matched with uh, vodka, right? The Greyhound, the classic Greyhound drink. Sure. So why did they choose grapefruit, you think? Well, so the Paloma is actually one of the most sold cocktails in all of Mexico, right underneath the margarita. Um, Paloma, the by Paloma. definition, is tequila, grapefruit, some sort of evanescence, um, lime, and agave. So, and you definitely I can taste throw the lime. some salt on there. It's not just grapefruit. So this isn't a Paloma, though, just, oh. but it's a, it's a riff off of it. Um, it's just grapefruit juice, tequila. Oh, really? And club. Mm -hmm. Well, since you mentioned it, the power of suggestion, it, my, I was like, hold on a second. Maybe I do taste it. I'm like, maybe I'll just take another sip. But the beautiful <laughs> part about this product is they're not mixed cocktails, right? So they're just foundation. They're just juice. Oh, they're so just nice products. and light. Yeah. Nice, no light. sugar. So if you'd like to mix it, you definitely can with anything else. It makes it a great base foundation. But they're just like they're so more tequila. Clean. You mean more tequila? Always, <laughs> right? Or any other kind of spirit that you'd like, um, or sugar if you want. But just as is, it's just so delicious and clean, and you get what you see. It's just so transparent. The nom is on the can. Um, the nom, you know, is the classification of the spirit and the agave plant from Mexico. So it's all, it's all beautiful. It's well, legit. the one thing that is super awesome about this, besides the fact that it's, it's a nice casual drink, mm -hmm. you know, no pretense, no, no snobbery. It's like, hey, um, let's go, let's say, let, I'm going to meet you at the beach, some, grab a, a little cooler, put, throw these in there, great. Come over to my house. <laughs> I can make you a cocktail for real. And or if you're trying to kind of cut back a little, have one of these, 5%. It's a little bit of a cheat, cheat drink for us. Or if you you're know, in a casual setting and you're going out regular to a bar, Regular martini right? drinkers. And you're not really trying to be too heavy mm -hmm. or, you know, just want to have right? some, some friend time yes, without just yes. taking shots. You don't or, always have to get plastered. Right? <laughs> have a can. It, looks, it makes you look great, right? It just... Yeah, it's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. So as um, a pairing mm -hmm. for all of these flavors, I thought to myself, what could I do for you, my dear, my love, my gorgeous, gorgeous friend? What could I do to pair with this? And at first, I was going to go all out and do some amuse Amuse bouches for you. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to see that. Just Kasha coming over, table side service. <laughs> no, seriously, I had the whole list going on. I'm like, what goes with watermelon? What goes with grapefruit? I was going to do these beautiful little amuse bouches for you. And then I was in my car driving to go get 
um, ingredients while I was doing my research at the red lights. And then it occurred to me, dun, da, da, da. <laughs> it occurred to me <laughs> Woo! that we could do caviar. <laughs> this is the best Tuesday ever. <laughs> like, come on. What goes with watermelon, lime, blood orange, and grapefruit? Caviar. It's perfect. So, Thank you and, so and much. And congratulations for your, your, your new J-O-B, your new gig. Thank and you. getting out there in, in the world and... Um, boots on the ground, doing the hustle for them. They could not have hired a better ambassador. So, you know, here's you to so you. Much. Here's to celebrating you. Here's to celebrating life Our ba is back. We're back in action. Businesses are open. Please. So this is, um, this is, the, the, this is the good shit, <laughs> <laughs> if I could put it politely. Um, All right, so we have a little red onion here. It's a so small, we'll, it's a small portion, okay. but you know, we're here, we're happening. I am so happy. I mean, it's high noon right now. It's supposed to go overboard. High noon, five percent with a little bit of caviar. What else are we gonna do? I'm just gonna go straight. I got nothing else it. to do, really. <laughs> so, like, tell. I know that you're interviewing me, but tell us about yourself a little bit, Kasha. I mean, what's been going on? You have this beautiful space you've been working out of, right? I mean, yeah. if you guys haven't seen this yet, it's unbelievable. I mean. What do you think of my work? I think it's gorgeous. I mean, look at it. I, I gave you the flamingos as our backdrop because um, Onda has one of, um, they have an Instagram post with a flamingo on it, so I thought this was appropriate. No, sure. Um, it's great. It's so clean. It's, it fits anywhere. It's bright. It makes an impression. I mean, it's exactly what art needs to be. Have you heard of the conceptual photograph before now? Um, I have, but I haven't really do dove into it and in meeting behind it, but can you give me a little rundown? Absolutely. While you enjoy your caviar. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the conceptual photograph, according to my creative process, is I shoot several hundred digital photographs and then later of my subject and then later in Photoshop, I review all of the images and that's when the magic happens and the photographs speak to me. I, I give myself this challenge about, okay, blank canvas, now what am I going to do? And I swear up and down that I never really know what I'm going to do until I do it. So that's why I guess that I'm an artist by definition. And uh, one of the, the most difficult things in life, in my life any, anyway, was to admit that I was an artist. <laughs> and to try and continue continue that pursuit, the sure. true pursuit of art. And the flamingos, this was shot at the Palm Beach Zoo. And the original photographs of this um, at the fountain, there were children running through the fountain. So I sat down on the ground and the children were having so much fun. Oh, the freedom and the, and the happiness on their faces. They're running, running through the fountain. And I'm like, ch -ch 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 -ch. And then later I was like, well, you know what? It's probably not a good idea if I take, um, you know, use images of other ch people's children in my work, legally speaking. Unfortunately, it, things have got so much more complicated with art these days. So that pushed the envelope, the creative envelope. I was like, well, if I can't use the kids, hmm, I'll throw some flamingos in there. So I basically had to rebuild the fountain from the ground up and then uh, spouts and all, bricks and all, and then I brought every single bird in separately. And this is titled The Celebration, since we're celebrating. It's fantastic. So much to be grateful for, and... Um, they just look so unreal. I mean, if you could see the detail in their faces, they just have happiness on their faces. And I didn't even know flamingos could look that happy. <laughs> Right? Go well, look at this guy right in the middle. I mean, I just want to look like it's him like, right it's now. It's his party. He's like, welcome, my friends. <laughs> to all my friends, Mickey Rourke. Have you ever seen Barfly? No. One of his best movies. Really? Oh, you have to see it. I he plays a total alcoholic, bum-like guy. Okay. But he is a brawler. 
Nice. So he drinks, he goes to the bar, he drinks until he gets absolutely wasted, and somehow, some way, somebody pisses him off, and he goes and he beats the shit out of them. Nice. I mean, <laughs> that sounds like a movie I'm definitely going to put on the list for sure. Mickey Rourke. <laughs> All right. So, um, yes, the celebration, conceptual photography, and these are all originals. So one of one. And they need some big walls. Interior designers, collectors, anybody, anybody? Come on in. This Palm Beach Showroom. Is delicious, by the way. Dun, da, da, da. So we got with some special napkins here. Let's get fizzy. Just a little bit fizzy, not a lot fizzy. Um, so if you are interested in um, purchasing these cans, um, they are available in 5,000 stores nationwide. 5,000? 5, 5,000 stores. In a we, year. Wow. It's pretty amazing. So how many, how many states? Tw 20 states, 5,000 stores. Uh, we do have some great national exposure as well. We're in Sam's Club, Winn-Dixie, ABC, Total Wine. Uh, we have a BOGO going on at Total Wine right now. Buy one, get one on our variety packs. So do you have to go into these places? No. So you're just. Oh, wait, do, do I have to go? Yeah, of course. No, I, I don't mean have to. I mean, like, do you uh, have you? Is it on your uh, job description to go recruit these um, like Publix distributions? So my level is basically going in and just making sure that the product is being pushed correctly and displayed correctly, right? Um, and encouraging. Ah. Okay. Awareness on it. Cool. I'm not necessarily on the sales level of the national chains, but I am local. So yeah. um, I'm going to throw some caviar on that. Thank you. No, 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 no. Oh, on the nail. look at that. Delicious. We Cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you too. Thank you so much. I wish you, you so nothing much. but the best. Go get them, Tyga. Our caviar. Mm. Cheers. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. Boom. That's beautiful. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> what should I chase what that with? Yeah, what are you going to pair it with? <laughs> I think I'm going to pair it with... I'm going to try the watermelon. Please do. Great fruit it is. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> Cheers to that. No, seriously. <clears throat> Delicious. Something about the salt, I think. The onion, the egg, creme fraiche with the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Slicing it with a little bit of uh, sweet up front. Yum. It's fantastic. Mm. Don't get these out of order. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was over there. <laughs> OCD over here. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your history because that's really important to, to, to cover in regards to how we as individuals, every individual on this planet, we strive. We strive to be better. We strive to figure out who we are. And we make the effort to show up. Alexandra, no matter what, when she shows up, there's an incredible aura about her. And she really is 100% authentic, sincere. So I think that really helps pave the way with what you do. So how did you get into the hospitality business in the first place? Well, I have some more caviar. Um, so it was my first job. Um, I've been doing it for 12 years. I never left. What was um, your first job? Restaurant, hostess. Oh, Where? Hostess at a Duffy's in Boynton Beach, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Hail to the Duffy's. Right. Um, Yay. But Thank you, Duffy's. You, you, you groomed a, a wonderful person. Simultaneously, um, so that was when I was 16, right? So simultaneously, 16, first job. Wow, I, my I first job was a work. pizza joint. Yeah, love pizza. It's good. Well, that's what hospitality is, right? It gives you a foot in the door to something, and it um, just all the imagination, right? It was just kind of like a li limitless career. That piece must have been busy. It was. I, I mean, I was a nine to five hostess. I went to high school in the mornings, did a nine to five job, then went to high school afterwards just because I really wanted to work because I wanted that independence, right? Um, so the but money, I mean, money's pretty helpful. It was, it was great. I mean, the money I was making at 16 was comparable. To Good for you. Yeah. So it was awesome. Um, and then simultaneously, I got um, involved with the improv comedy clubs. So I. That's a switch. Mm -hmm. Well, Why did that I, happen? I, my closest friend, um, one of my closest friends, uh, her mm. mother owns it, Renee Hart. She actually was one of my 
female mentors growing up. So I started in working West Palm? in West Palm, okay. in Palm Beach. So I started working for their telemarketing office and I spent about three years doing their social media for about five of their clubs. Um, I did their open mic bookings. So Hold I on a second. Comedy. Social media what year? Um, what do you mean? Social media, when I was doing their social media accounts, yeah, I was, I think, 17 years old, 18 years but old. But what year was that? Because well, how long have we had social media? A while. <laughs> like, you social media when you're doing businesses. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, but. like Instagram has been a while around for how long? How old are you? <laughs> Just no, kidding. it's true, though. So and then I got into opening Copper Blues. So I was, then I was going to school for marketing, but then I realized it was, I had real life experience doing it. So I kind of fell in out of love with going to college for a degree that I was already We We in. have that in common because I went to school for art, first and foremost. I was groomed to be a painter. And then I was like, eh, I don't think I want to be a painter. And then I fell in, um, into interior design school mm -hmm. because I was like, okay, well, I know that I'm artistic and I have some skills. How can I make money with it? Went into interior design and I was like, hmm. I kind of like photography. <laughs> Boots on the ground, quit school, never look back. There's nothing like life experience. It's true. So just fast forward, I just kept working in restaurants. And then as soon as I discovered that this was my passion and this is really what I wanted to do, um, everything else fell secondary. I started focusing on one concept at a time instead of the two to three restaurants I could work in all at once. Um, and the most important part after that was finding um, the right ownership, the right restaurant group to appreciate what they had because that's so important, especially nowadays after, after you know, everything we've all been through with COVID, when you're on the front lines, just knowing you're working for someone with the same values and the same goals and the same direction of their future is important for yours. Um, so I got into directing and Rodney Mayo gave me my first general manager job and Aww. he said, here's this beautiful club named Voltaire, which just recently closed, but just like everything, great. Rodney, Again, God bless you, Rodney. Thank you. I, I'm me. going to give you the key to <laughs> West Palm Beach personally because you deserve it so much. And the efforts that he, he puts forth, not only locally with the properties that he owns up and down Clematis, South Beach even. He, South Beach, Delray. <laughs> Delray. Boca. He's all the way up in Jupiter with his coffee shop. So. Yes, yes. Um, he, go, he goes from uh, restaurants to nightclubs to billiards to coffee shops. To new food hall going into, which is going to be very exciting, and a new vegan restaurant that is right where the subculture was. So um, right across the street in between Respectables and last weekend, he's taking over a space. Wow. And putting a little food hall in. So What's stay a food, tuned for that. What does that mean, food hall? Um, a food hall concept. So food hall, brand that new like food court? Multiple vendors within ah, one space. So it's like yes. a communal food hall, food court. Multi-story. Okay. Multi-story? Yeah, it's going to have a rooftop. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to review all this. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. But that's very exciting for our West Palm Beach natives. All right, all right. This is what's beautiful about High Noon. My guests, by the way, I'm booked all month. Nice. All month. I don't have, I only have Sundays and Mondays to not be here. Tuesdays and Saturdays, all month for the month of July, I'm having wonderful local guests that are absolutely uh, integral and ingrained in our local community to tell us what's going on for summer 2021 Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Jupiter. Yeah. Rodney. And we love Rodney. Rodney, God bless you. And let's talk about him real quickly about his helping hands concept because um, when COVID rolled in and shut everything down in March, I reacted really emotionally and reached out to a couple of people and said, hey, we should do something um, to help the community somehow. And that's when Rodney pivoted in his own, uh, in his own right and he developed Helping Hands to help feed all the people that were jobless from all of the restaurants, not only that he owned, but all the restaurants and hospitality people in the area. He was doing like over a thousand meals a day. In multiple locations. Multiple not just locations. One. I mean, it, was, it was fantastic. You know, he, God didn't, bless he didn't even breathe. He just went to action, which is what amazing leaders do, right? So. Yep.
Yeah, very appreciative. And he still continues to this day. He's they host events. I saw, you know, he had some hairstylists down giving haircuts and just clothing. And I mean, I definitely check I've, it out. I, I, I definitely. Um, how can I put this? I knew in advance that Rodney would never sit in this chair. <laughs> He's not that kind of guy. He's like, what? no, I don't think so. Um, so that's why I want to talk for him sure. with some of uh, the the, peop the closest people to him. And um, so, well, I'm not the closest. I did work. You're for one him. of them. I, you're one I of them. I appreciate everything you, you, that he's you, doing. Yeah. Yes, yes, you were there. He get, Voltaire was amazing. Yeah. I don't know what's, what's going on there now, do you? It's becoming a two-story last weekend, so that's coming. So they're going to be starting to build up. I have no idea when that's happening. But, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard a rumor. Oh, goodness. <laughs> a rumor? <laughs> okay, I may need a sip for this. We go live. Me. Me go all right, all right. The ru rumor has it. Uh, what's that, Adele song? Rumor has it. Rumors. Um, bowling alley? I heard there may be a lane or two. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's a whole alley, but I think it's incorporated in the concept. Bowling. There's only one bowl. No, there's, a, there's one in City Place, bowling place, right? What's that bowling place? Rockin'? No, that's South Beach. There's a bowling place in City Place where you could go bowling. I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry. Me either. Uh, me as well. Um, and the other place, like this really old school place, is on uh, Flamingo? No, Florida Mango. Florida Mango, there's a big bowling alley with a huge parking lot. They're closing. So good timing. Let's go bowling. So, yeah. I mean, Clematis. So let's go bowling in <laughs> Clematis. Um, yeah, so Voltaire was great. I loved Voltaire. Used that to kind of catapult where I was going and got an oppor awesome opportunity um, to go to Del Rey for a little bit. And then I circled back and had my biggest passion project, which was Viva La Playa, which your good Viva friends with La Lipton. Viva La Playa, yes. That, down at Lake Worth Pier. Um, it was, I moved to Palm Beach in 2010, and I lived two doors down from the pier mm -hmm. on the beach, and the Lake Worth Pier was kind of like, eh, whatever. Wasn't um, a place to be. Benny's on the beach was, uh, it was okay, but it wasn't great. And then the Liptons entered stage right. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Lipton in all of his glory, glory, and his two sons, magnificent. Beautiful people. Um, Erica, his wife, polo player. Boo -boo. So he saw a uh, wonderful opportunity, took over Benny's, revamped it. It is so happening now. And then he had eyes on the Irish place. What was it before? It was Mulligan's. It was a Mulligan's. beach. It was like a beach house. Right, right, kind of right. Vibe. And then he updated it with Viva La Playa and brought you in as the bar manager, beverage manager. Yeah, I, I, well, I, was, I came in as a consultant, so that was my first build out from ground floor, which was so exciting. They, ground floor? They said, come in, rip anything out, put anything you want. Um, really? So, yeah. Wow. So well, I, how did you have the vision? I, I just saw it. I saw it. I went in. I had a notebook. I started drawing it. I, had, I was fortunate to work in enough restaurants and bars to see how operationally it should be executed, right? So Logistics first. Mm -hmm. so Ergonomics I, exactly. second. Well, it, it all plays together. Mm. So um, anyway, so it was, it was great. I got a call in May. We opened in August. That was last year. So it was three months. I was there. High tide, COVID, lots of masks. Lots of masks. And then I got to call all my friends who didn't have work to come in and help me open this place. So that was right. a huge community effort. Um, a lot of beautiful faces from so many different restaurants. So, Interjection. Blood orange with caviar. Wow. Amazing. Have all you right. tried it with I the blood orange yet? Wow. I, they think that might be my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. The watermelon was pretty impressive, but I got to say, the blood orange is... Boom. Get it on the side there. All right. So you've been busy and you've been climbing the ladder and then you went to Onda. How did you, how'd they find you? From mystery. Once again, friends, friends through connections. People know people. People know people. I got a phone call. I um, met an amazing woman named Liz Burns. She is the director of the Southeast um, and she's based out of uh, Miami Beach. Southeast. 
East. Okay, she's based out of Miami Beach. Mm -hmm. And she's so she, great. hold on, she does all of Florida's. She does the Southeast, so she has South, Georgia. South, okay, yeah. So Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're wow. in Georgia now, which is great. We're killing it over there. Yay, Georgia. Are you going to kill it everywhere? Okay. This, this is going to take off big time. White Claw rollover. <laughs> so funny. Um, definitely. So but that's anyways, vodka. It's a completely different animal. Um, yep, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of malt bases too. Do your research on them. I'm not gonna, I'm not that person to call out other brands, but definitely do your research. This is definitely just tequila and seltzer and juice. Um, so yeah, Liz, Liz gave me a, gave me a chance, and it was a great time because it was a part time job um, and all of the things. So okay, might so not be there. We and are summer 21. Yep. Um, last question. August. So you're recommending Onda as the drink of the summer and the distribution in locally. Are you on the island as well? I am anywhere that I can possibly bring us. So we have a, we're Breakthrough Beverage is our distribution company. So it's one of the top three in the country. Um, cool. So where are you on the island? Nowhere on the island yet. But ah. I'll get over there. You will. I will. That, like, I haven't throw that up as a priority. I, I have my, I have my Kachina. Teams. I know. Well, we're getting there. Okay. So Kachina has this amazing outdoor space, right, that they recently adopted during COVID. So it's been on my list to get over there. I'm just. Well, the Royal Ponciana would definitely take this in big time. Sure. Wow. What kind of media are you guys getting? Um, not a lot locally, but well, you got some getting, there, getting there. Getting there. It's just been moving so fast. We're just trying to keep up because between the on-premise and off-premise sales, I mean, we're just we're okay. getting a lot. <laughs> tell me, tell me, you wake up in the morning and what is your agenda? I wake up in the morning and I go through my account lists and I check my emails. And I, I'm just like a normal person, right? And I'm just like a normal person. <laughs> no, she is not. Um, she is nowhere near normal. <laughs> but define weird, right? So just typically just going through my commitments, who I need to speak to, who I can help. Target list. Targets. Um, going in, Make following up. Anyone that's coming in, bringing the product, how can I offer support for that? Are people calling you saying, hey, I've heard about this product. I'd really like to check it out. Yeah, it's a combination. Wonderful. I know I've had friends reach out to me that saw it, something that I posted, really wanted to bring it into their restaurants or, you know, go, where can they buy it? So um, that's, that's a great sign that it's a great product, right? I mean, are we still online? I have no idea. I hope we are. Yeah, we are. Okay, good. We're still there. Yay. How many minutes do we got? We have been 1244. That's about the average time. Okay. <laughs> oh, I said well. 30 minutes, and she's like, oh, boy, that's a long time. I'm like, it's going to go so fast. So, Alexandra, thank you so much for coming to High Noon. Thank you. I'm so thrilled for you. This is an incredible bevy. Thank you for supplying a nice taste test. Definitely. What do you think about the, uh, the stepping it up with the caviar? Nice little juxtaposition. I think it's fantastic. I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Great taste, great eye. Great talent. I am so blessed to have been asked to be here, especially Yay. in such a beginning stage. Episode of number this. three. That's great. I can't wait to watch. We have a whole month. Everyone else, right? Yes, yes, We're gonna yes. Be great. Um, um, I ha we have DJs coming. We have radio personalities. Tim Bird is coming on Thursday. Okay. Um, let me see. We have one of my favorite guitarists locally. His name is Alex Zapatier. I call him Shredder virtuoso guitarist he w he's in this band called uh, uh 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 the connected but i he deserves to have a solo career he's an incredible guitarist i have a i'm a sucker for a, a, an awesome guitarist and dude can shred so we have some performance coming original music we have radio personalities we have djs we have brand ambassadors it's going to be a wonderful month of all local individuals that are boots on the ground for the recovery of Palm Beach Summer 2021. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so God much. God bless. Go get them. Stay in touch. I will. Yay. Thank, Thank you, guys. you. We're out. Mics. Dropping the mm -hmm. mics. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> how, do we, how do we stop? Yeah, right? How do we go? Woo! We're out. <laughs>